This time on Jairus of All, I do a really weird homemade 3D print mod that gives me perfect, crazy strong high temp prints, but also ends in a big fat fail. I'm trying to make strong parts for my Aquaman project, and that requires making them out of polycarbonate. Problem is, that print's really hot, like 600 degrees, and I have heat creep. I gotta fix it. This is a diagram of my printer and a close-up of what's going on. The plastic that I'm using comes down into this box and it gets pushed right here and it gets hot right here and it squirts out right there and makes your print. The issue is heat creep. This part gets up to 600F or 300C and this filament takes a while to squirt out of the end so that heat can move up into it. And if it gets too warm where it's being pushed, it gets squishy and then it doesn't get pushed and then it doesn't squirt out and you don't get a print. So there's a heat break between the two and you blow cold air across it and it removes the heat and then your filament stays cold up here and the plastic isn't squishy and you still get a print. Problem is it's not very effective because this plastic needs to be inside of a box so that it stays nice and warm while it's printing. So if you're blowing hot air over the part that you're supposed to be cooling down, it doesn't cool down very well, then you don't get a print. That's heat creep, which is why I built a little container around my heat break because now I have a MacGyver style fix for how to make that be cold, but not let anything else be cold in here. It's time to take some everyday stuff and make a MacGyver thing to fix my problem. Plastic bag, old sheet, high temp sealant, springy wire, tube, glue, and two paper clips. That's all I need. MacGyver time.
Recently, a lot of you have requested Jairus of All shirts, and they weren't for sale, but now they are, through December 10th. And the observant among you may have noticed that I'm wearing a red shirt instead of the blue shirts that I normally had. I really like the red ones. I got some, and now you can too. Or the blue ones. Okay, pick which one, whichever one you want, and you can get it. And if you get a shirt, it helps support the channel, but you don't have to. I don't judge. It's up to you. There's a link in the description. Originally, that part on my printer had a fan like this blowing air across it. And this is good at moving air, but it is not that good at forcing air, which is why a turbo style fan will be better for this. I made this more efficient, but it also made it really noisy. So I modified this for nothing. And I'm just gonna use the normal quiet version. And this will suck air in and over the thing and back out. That way if there's leaks, the cold air doesn't blow into the box. but I also need to be able to take the box off sometimes, like to get the print out or to not have the box on because the plastic that I'm using isn't high temp. So I need an access door to be able to take the tubes off and disconnect everything so I can take the box off of it. So I gotta make a door. I've been very careful to make sure that this whole system doesn't have any leaks in it, but the box has huge gaps in it because it's meant to stop drafts, not necessarily be a contained chamber, but I want it to be, because then it'll be nice and warm and the prints will come out better. So it's time to seal up the box.
It's a moment of truth. Time for a test print. Bum, bum, bum. I printed test props, just these little guys, to run in my test rig. I also printed them out of PLA before that, but these polycarbonate ones are very strong. Okay, I don't even know if I can break this off. The plan was to break it for you. <clears throat> See? There. I bent it. They're 0.6 millimeter thick, I think. <clears throat> there we go. I broke one. Versus the PLA, which is just... <laughs> No strength at all. Even the, the big prop one, I can just bend them right off. And these are even reinforced with uh, resin and stuff to make them smoother and better. Now that I have my temperature up so high, you can see they printed out a little weird. My modification works so well that there's so much heat retained in the chamber that I get incredible prints, but it's also too hot for the printer and I melted it. You can see the swoop from when the print head sagged down, it moved to the side, which is why these look so goofy. A lot of the parts on my TAS-6 are made of 3D printed parts, and I didn't know what plastic they were made from. I was hoping they might be nylon, but apparently they're ABS or something like that because it's hot enough in there that it melted it and it sagged. Now I need to replace those parts with something that doesn't melt. But I do have all these parts printed out of PLA, a bunch of them, so that I can do my prop test. And these all pop right onto my little test rig. What was the other thing I was going to say? I don't know. I know for a fact that I can make all of the parts as strong as I need to be able to build the Aquaman system, which is awesome. Don't forget about the link in the description for t-shirts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.